Well, it's been nearly 25 years since the infamous wig shop murder in West U. Now, the convicted killer is facing his first opportunity for parole, but the victim's daughters and others are committed to keeping him locked up. Jason Miles live from Wesleyan Plaza tonight where this crime occurred. Jason. Lynn, look behind me. The wig shop is still here, still owned by the same couple. They were both attacked back on Black Friday, 1998. A beloved longtime employee was savagely murdered. Wigs by Andre is an institution first opened decades ago. Its long history also includes an infamous 1998 murder. The worst day of our lives. Sisters Yvonne Palmer and Yvette Menendez lost their mother, 52-year-old Manuela Silverio. She'd worked at the wig shop since the 1970s, mostly helping cancer patients dealing with hair loss. I was talking to my mother at 4 in the afternoon on Black Friday, and at 4.11 she was dead. 19 at the time of the crime, Dror Goldberg of Bel Air was convicted in the year 2000 of fatally slashing Silverio's throat in a brazen daytime attack with no clear motive. The shop's female co-owner suffered 14 stab wounds herself and her husband was also injured. This is video from the day KHOU was still on the very active crime scene. He's, he, he brutally murdered my mother, brutally. And all she did was go to work that day. The sisters have kept all kinds of articles related to the murder of their mother, Goldberg's arrest while on a trip to Europe, and his eventual trial. The now 44-year-old inmate avoided a possible death penalty thanks to an extradition agreement. He's maintained his innocence all along, and there's this website dedicated to finding, quote, justice for drawer. He's a cold-blooded killer. Former HISD police officer Susan Pendergrass says she was convinced of that after finding a disturbing story in Goldberg's notebook during an unrelated investigation at Bel Air High School three years before the wig shop murder, something later connected to Goldberg following his arrest. His title was How to Kill a Woman, and, uh, and he took you there. It wasn't a novel. It wasn't a poem. It was him. It was his thoughts. She and Silverio's daughters are afraid of what might happen if Goldberg is granted parole during his first opportunity this August and plan to keep advocating for the opposite on behalf of the life that was lost. He murdered our mother. Why should he be going back to his mother when he took mine? He's a cold-blooded killer. He's just going to come out. He's going to kill again.